we are here to discuss probably the most important immigration issue or the most important part of the immigration issue that doesn't get the kind of attention it really needs. Uh, you know, the issues at the border and the wall and all the rest of that's very important. Vetting um, of people for security purposes, again, extremely important. But those kind of things get a lot of discussion, a lot of tweets, a lot of um, d debate in Congress. Uh, the issue of chain migration, though, uh, doesn't get as much debate and discussion as it needs because it really is the driver of our whole immigration policy. Um, I won't go into details. Our speakers will talk more about it. But really, I mean, we have an immigration policy based on yesterday's immigrants deciding who tomorrow's immigrants are going to be, where basically uh, it's kind of like there's a, there was a shampoo commercial, for those of you who are my age and older, where um, it was some model uh, said, you know, I use this shampoo, and then I told two friends, and then they told two friends, and they told two friends, and there was like a multiplying number of pictures here, people saying they were telling two friends. That's the way our immigration policy works, and that's what chain migration basically is. One, uh, an immigrant comes in for whatever reason. Um, the immigrant may have a spouse. The spouse has siblings. The siblings have parents and their own spouses, and on and on and on. And um, it's something that doesn't get the kind of discussion that's necessary. But over the past year, it really has started to um, get some attention outside the kind of wonky circles of um, people who do this for a living, like us. And that's why we decided to have this uh, panel. And it's a pretty distinguished and impressive panel, if I say so myself. I guess we're coming up in the world. Um, our, uh, our star, as it were, is Senator David Perdue from Georgia. Um, he was elected in 2014, had not held public office before, is the, apparently Congress's only Fortune 500 CEO. Uh, probably could use a little more of that to ground what Congress does in reality. Former CEO of Reebok, which I didn't know as well as the Dollar General stores, um, is on the um, is on the uh, banking, budget, armed services, and agriculture committees. Uh, and he's been, what relates to us here, is he's been a uh, leader along with Senator Tom Cotton in pushing what's called the RAISE Act. I forget the acronym, but I think they come up with a name first and then they make up the what, the, uh, what, the, what it stands for. But the point of it is, it would modernize and streamline our immigration system. And you know, people introduce bills all the time. Um, this, however, is a real thing. Uh, the president had an event at the White House for it. This isn't just some bill for show. This is a beginning, at least, of a serious engagement with this issue of um, how our legal immigration system picks people. So we're delighted to have the senator here with us. We're also delighted to have Dr. Michael Teitelbaum, who is a demographer and has been looking at immigration and working on it for years. He wrote, I believe, was it 1979, that Foreign Affairs article, which was one of the first things I'd read on um, basically critiquing current immigration policy. What's relevant um, specifically for here is that Dr. Teitelbaum was vice chairman of the U.S. Commission on Immigration Reform, the uh, Jordan Commission, which in the mid-1990s um, really did take a serious look, a bipartisan look, at the faults of our immigration policy and came up with a lot of consensus recommendations that, frankly, had Congress implemented 20 years ago, we would be in a very different place today. The RAISE Act and the recommendations of the Commission on Immigration Reform aren't the same, but uh, you know, there's all there's various differences here and there, but they are animated by many of the same concerns, chain migration, uh, as well as some others. And so Dr. Teitelbaum is going to talk to us a little bit about what the Jordan Commission found two decades ago, and it's still quite relevant today. And last but not least is Jessica Vaughn, the Director of Policy Studies here at the Center for Immigration Studies. Um, she has been at CIS even longer than I have. Uh, and is a former FSO and has written on a wide variety of the immigration uh, issues. And most recently, she has a report on chain migration, which I think we have outside. Is that uh, correct? Um, kind of giving people a sense of the scope of it and the nature of it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with Jessica. 
then uh, Michael will talk, and then the senator will give some reactions and thoughts uh, at the end.